Well, as the CBN uh, moves to stabilize prices at this time and also uh, stabilize the FX market, we got that jumbo rate hike by 400 basis points uh, for the NPR. And uh, definitely uh, we've got a lot of reactions, you know, trailing that hike at this time. But let's hear now uh, from Dr. Mohamed uh, Tamala, Director, Monetary Policy Department of the Central Bank of Nigeria. Great to have you on the show. Uh, thank you, uh, Ladi. Um, uh, good afternoon. Fantastic. So we're seeing 22.75%. Um, uh, that's the new NPR uh, from 18.75. Cash reserve ratio, that's uh, moved to a record high of about 45%. Asymmetric corridor, also we saw an increase um, there. And, you know, looking at all of this, we're seeing lending rates are getting higher and higher in Nigeria. And I, I want to know about the, how the CBN is thinking about the risk of loan default with most of the hikes that we're seeing right now? Uh, yes, Ladi, um, the, the central bank um, is um, very much um, uh, aware of the, the concerns that should be around uh, um, the non-performing loans. Um, uh, and so one of the uh, things uh, the MPC would review are the prudential uh, uh, ratios of the bank um, at current levels and and also provide uh, some level of shock uh, to see how resilient will they be at different levels of uh, shock. So um, uh, the, the, the system is uh, awash with um, uh, a very uh, substantial share of, uh, you know, foreign currency you know, denominated loans um, uh, now starting at about, you know, 60% of uh, their, their total loans. So um, um, FX stability in the FX market, uh, you know, uh, or instability in the FX market is a broader risk to, to, to the banks uh, with respect to uh, the loans out there. So, uh, uh, MPC thinks that um, stabilizing that market and generally prices um, is a better option for, for the banks. But of course, uh, they have been uh, advised to, to, to increase their buffers. Uh, they have been advised of prepare to recapitalize to safeguard their capital, uh, their capitals and also, you know, uh, the application of uh, FX gains that has been a concern uh, uh, because there has been a lot of uh, profits so, uh, declared because of uh, FX revaluation gains. So banks have been, uh, the attention has been drawn to create, uh, take this opportunity to create buffers for emerging risks. All right, so... Uh um, uh, definitely, you know, at, at this time, we, we know there is um, a risk, you know, when it comes to, you know, interest rates. We're seeing even uh, right now uh, the talks uh, in the global markets of possibility of, you know, rate cuts um, coming in 2024. But we don't have, you know, clarity, you know, when it comes to that. But um, uh, from the view of the, of the CBN, is there, uh, at what point are we looking for, are we projecting some kind of peak? for interest rates uh, hikes in Nigeria? Well, uh, the, the system is uh, evolving uh, uh, by our understanding, uh, the knowledge we have from uh, the various simulations and uh, we have done. Uh, we needed to take a large decision now uh, if we would want um, inflation to trend down at uh, to the levels uh, we would want them to uh, to be. Uh, we are very much aware of uh, very high, you know, uh, inflation levels, you know, in um, advanced economies and our our trading partners. Uh, we, we, are, we are very much concerned about um, uh, the inf uh, inflation differential between, I mean, Nigeria and our key trading partners, and that affects our real um, exchange, uh, exchange rate. Uh, we think that um, there are going to be delays as far as uh, further rate uh, cuts are concerned in advanced economies because inflation is trending down even though they are still uh, far above their inflation uh, inflation target. So we think that uh, there might be some delay and that might come 
you know, as um, uh, as some good news to to our economy, particularly if you look at um, um, uh, uh, inflow of uh, of uh, foreign uh, investment. So uh, they are not likely going to raise uh, um, uh, rates. Uh, that is uh, that is that, that is our thinking. Uh, but cuts are also maybe 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 um, uh, delayed. Now, um, investors are looking at our real interest rate, and we are still, you know, uh, negative. Uh, uh, is the desire, of course, uh, for any economy to have uh, a positive real rates. Um, but then we we also looking at um, uh, at the trade off between, you know, uh, increasing rates and 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 having. To, to put the economy into the direction of a uh, of, uh, substantial decline in output. All right. Uh, definitely, we see there's a, there's, there's a cost of living crisis right now. We're seeing consumers um, squeeze <laughs> on all sides now. And also, we're seeing businesses, you know, struggling at this time. And we know the CBN, you know, you, you have um, a lot to do at this time when it comes to um, FX uh, market stability and you know moderating prices or keeping prices stable, but with the with the rate hikes um, we've seen from the past um, leadership into this one, is the CBN um, scared at all of tanking the economy? Well, uh, I mean, uh, <laughs> any policy maker will, will be watching. Uh, uh, I mean, so many things. Uh, uh, not only, I mean, inflation. I mean, you will be interested in um, in growth. Uh, after all, you know, stabilizing the objective of having uh, stable prices is to have sustainable growth. So we think that um, uh, you can have a sustainable growth uh, without stable prices. So, um, well, uh, there has to be some kind of pain period for. Uh, for this, and on the other hand, you are also seeing employment is uh, is uh, is uh, is uh, is ticking up. So uh, the central bank is is concerned about, um, of course, uh, the current uh, situation of uh, of living in Nigeria. Uh, but then, what uh, is more disturbing is for us to to do nothing and and have the economy in a, in a, in a in a far deeper. You know, uh, mess than 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 we are now. Um, so the uh, previous courts uh, have not given us, um, I mean, the desired uh, result, and um, uh, this decision is coming a little bit, uh, um, do I say, timely or late? But we needed to act now. We are very much aware of the trade-off between growth, but then um, it is for a better economy. It is to to be able to provide that foundation that is required to build uh, the one trillion dollar economy that uh, we all desire as Nigerians. And we've seen a lot uh, coming from the CBN, you know, at this time when it comes to reforms in most of these markets, and we're all trying to get back um, foreign investor interests, you know. But from from what you've seen so far. Um, can you give us any indication if we're, we're seeing, you know, foreign investment starting to um, come back to the country? And what's your outlook for that in 2024? So even before the meeting, we have had uh, there is no week that passes without a team of foreign investors coming into the country. And, and we have had a lot of meetings with them. I mean, there is increasing interest in um, in, uh, in coming back to, to Nigeria and in fact, um, um, immediately uh, the MPC announced uh, its decision, a uh, group of investors actually made a call and required a conference uh, call with the governor, which happened yesterday. So there is a very strong uh, interest in Nigeria. And you have seen, of course, um, uh, foreign investors coming back into uh, sub-Saharan Africa. They have come into two economies now. Nigeria is the next destination, and, and that is... Uh, what the central bank is uh, currently uh, occupied with trying to, you know, support the fiscal authority also to create the enabling environment for all investors uh, to be in Nigeria. All right, definitely. I, I wish you the uh, very best because I know there's a lot before 
uh, the Central Bank right here in Nigeria. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Mohamed Tumala, uh, Director, Monetary Policy Department of the Central Bank of Nigeria. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you, Ladi, for having me, and uh, have a good day. Thank you. You too.